it looks like a bunch of people getting very drunk, puking everywhere, not being able to walk straight, and um, I don't know, shouting. They're stuffy. They smell so bad. They it's a combination bad. of I don't know, bad weed, alcohol. sweat, and bad alcohol. My kind of routine is yeah. I will go to 44 Pratt for a little bit, and yeah. they have a lot of stuff, so get a little under the influence, and then you start walking around to find other frats. Got it. Okay. So it's like a search, an adventure. Uh, they call sometimes. it the crawl. The oh. awesome crawl. Basically, you're too early. Yeah. With Austin Crawl, it, there's a bunch what of people moving happen? around. Um, every every night, like okay. Friday, Saturday, there's just a bunch of girls on the street. You're in a good area. This road, Pratt Street's really good for it. Okay. If I were you guys, I'd wait till a whole bunch of girls start coming out. Just wait it out. Okay. okay cool. People stay in the street, or there's some people that like are prepared for certain frats with themes. Oh. oh. Okay. Um, yes. What's the theme tonight? Tonight. I don't know. But tomorrow, there's a glow in the dark. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, I know where. Okay. They all look the same. Okay. They all the houses look the same. Yeah, because we don't know like the names of them. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, a lot of guys that we know will know which frats they are because they looked at them during rush. A lot of the girls will know the addresses because they get texted the address. So at BU, there's four main frats. Okay. One of which is off campus. Okay. Pike, K Sig, or Kappa Sigma, and DTD, or Del. Okay. And then the one off campus, which is pretty big, is Sig The second weekend, or maybe third, somebody fell out of that house or that house? I would have like their third story window. That was that was the weirdest crawl moment. It's not a like, common no. thing. That's why we're <laughs> drunk accidents are, I see. but that I see. is yeah. a very bad drunk okay, accident cool. that happened. Um, you know, the crawl is usually, usually packed up by like by now. It's, it is more dense tonight than usual. Yeah. 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 This, this, is this is a frat house. Well, okay. But okay. Not, oh, not oh, hosting tonight. Not a lot of okay. trouble with the co police lately. Got it. Okay. The cops shot us down on Saturday of last week oh. um, at AEPI. Which is super easy to get into. Yeah. If you ever need one. We're in, we're in like college, you know, where we're supposed to, to have fun. And bro, there's there's like cops everywhere. Man. Like, oh, that, that is very is annoying. Actually, you know? mm -hmm. Like, like every single time, I, I swear to God, every single time that I've gone to like a frat, I've seen a cop there and like, hey, hey guys, like, shut the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. that happens a lot. Uh, at least for our frat, I can't speak for others. We have like a, a risk board, like risk management board. Uh -huh. So. We make sure everything's good, people aren't too fucked up, mm -hmm. not causing problems. I feel like a little bit, anyone who goes there and feels like less than a five in safety is like doing something really horribly wrong yeah. because like the guys there don't actually come off as predatory and especially when you're in a group, like you feel pretty safe. And like the parties are kind of, I guess, to wind, like wind down in the sense that you don't have to think about school all the time. Because mm -hmm. I know my friends and I, we try to work very hard during the week, and then at night is when we do go out. Yeah. Especially at BU, like a lot of our social life is Greek life. Yeah. So a lot of these underclassmen who are not 21 use these frat houses as their way to drink, party, socialize. I feel like frats here, it's an interesting way to meet people at other schools because oh, everyone yeah. from Northeastern and BC and like sometimes Emerson, like literally anywhere, they all come here mm -hmm. to go out at night. Um, I think it would be a lot harder for underclassmen to go out because you can't get into bars really. Mm -hmm. um, so I think the social scene would look a lot different, be a lot less active if there weren't friends. As an underclassman, you can get alcohol, and like as underclassmen, like we've been to bars, we've been to clubs, we've been to MIT, we've been to Harvard. Like I don't think it's for like a lack of access to other places. I just think that because other schools have frat culture, we want to have that frat culture, yeah. but ours is kind of just lame. See, I think there's a lot of disappointment when you actually go to a frat party because movies depict it totally different. I am, I'm interested solely in the sake to say that I've been to an MIT frat, Yeah. but other than that, I have no interest in frat parties or anything like that. In general, fraternities perpetuate negative things yeah and I'm not <laughs> the biggest fan of Greek life in general I think yeah. it's an unhealthy addition to college I think it's a place for white guys to feel validated by girls that are out of their leagues um, and I think especially on other campuses frats are just a place for guys to take advantage of girls yeah. 
America's just grasping at straws for a sake of community, and frat houses is one of those straws that people can like easily find. Well, like, a lot of times girls can't even get it. Like it's very exclusive. And guys have to be on list, and then girls you have to like have an in. From my experience, like you have to have, you have to know someone in the frat to get you. In. Really? Yeah. From my experience, <laughs> if you're a girl and you walk in, that's it. Like that's the end, end of story. Yeah. Um, at a lot of like the bigger schools, they've been getting in trouble for like drugging girls and like sexual abuse, and so like everyone kind of is like wary about it's it. Not, like there's a girl like outside of West once, and she literally like got roofied. Like it's just like a normal experience. Like, it's a like fine place to meet people. It's just kind of I feel like for freshmen, it's like oh everyone goes to Austin and like yeah. no one really thinks about it. That's just like what you do. When you're like. At the end of a night in Austin, you're fucking, you're drunk as hell. <laughs> to get back is like, basically crawl. crawl back. That's what I've, I've gathered from it. <laughs>